Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. Thank you for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is Daniel White IV, the eldest son of Daniel White III. The intro music that you just heard is my late grandfather, Daniel White Jr., singing a song titled Get Ready. Today, my father, Daniel White III, is going to share with you news and information relating to biblical prophecy so that you can be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books, including Just Jesus and The Prayer Motivator. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in 23 foreign countries, and is the president of Gospelite Society and Torch Ministries International. Now, here's your host, Daniel White III. Welcome to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is Daniel White III, here to remind you that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon and that you need to be prepared. This broadcast is not about predictions. However, it is all about preparation. First today, let's look at some signs of his coming in the news. The disciples asked Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 3, What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jesus Christ then went on to give them and us clear signs that show us when we can begin to expect to see the coming of the Lord and the end of the world as we know it. Looking at world events through the lens of the Word of God, let's look at some headlines from today's news that point to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. First up today, Israel's intelligence chief warns of rising terror on northern and southern borders. According to the Times of Israel, the commander of the Israeli Intelligence Corps, Major General Aviv Kochavi, said dwindling governmental control and a sharp influx of al-Qaeda operatives in Sinai and Syria have led to a spike in terror activity in the Sinai Peninsula and the possibility of a new front for Israel in the Golan Heights. He said the terror groups in Sinai could attempt to create a diplomatic crisis by way of terror attack. Recently, the infrastructure for 10 terror attacks was dismantled and the paths to attack are continually monitored. In Syria, he said, there is a daily flow of al-Qaeda operatives into the country and the consolidation of global jihad elements in Syria could turn the Golan region into a front against Israel, much like that which exists in the Sinai. Secondly today, the world economy is heading for another perfect storm. According to the Telegraph, the International Monetary Fund's latest outlook indicates that a perfect storm in which all parts of the world economy could go down together is quickly brewing. To the all too familiar economic threats posed by the Eurozone must now be added the approaching fiscal cliff in the United States of America whose own nascent recovery is fast losing momentum and the evident slowdown in emerging markets. 
China is caught between stagnant export markets and evident overcapacity in the domestic economy, and a hard landing now seems all too possible. All three cornerstones of the world economy seem now to be heading into the sand. Third today, Jordan takes action to ward off Syrian chemical attack. According to the Associated Press, Jordan's foreign minister, Nasser Judah, said the country has taken precautions to ward off a possible Syrian chemical attack, reflecting concern that Syria might use such weapons if the uprising there threatens the regime. Judah stated, The matter is of grave concern to us, and we have taken all necessary measures we have taken all necessary measures to confront that. We will not allow anything to threaten the internal security of the kingdom. Israel and other countries have also expressed concern about Syrian chemical weapons. The Bible says, ladies and gentlemen, in Zechariah 2.8, for thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoil you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. You can read these stories in more detail and get more Second Coming related news on our website at secondcomingherald.com. Now, it is time for Prophecy Boot Camp. Prophecy Boot Camp is where we deal with the basics of prophecy, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, and what will happen in the future, according to the Word of God, the Bible. Our aim here is not to make predictions, but to help you get prepared by understanding how things will unfold in the end times. Our topic for today is titled The Covenants The Covenants with Israel Part One from Doctor John MacArthur's book The Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Doctor MacArthur writes the following on this subject Since we know that God still has a plan for national Israel and that they will be in the tribulation what, where, and how do they fit into it? I want to share with you six areas that indicate Israel's place in the tribulation. The covenants with Israel, the collecting of Israel, the chastisement of Israel, the comfort of Israel, the conversion of Israel, and the commission of Israel. Today we will begin by looking at part one of the covenants with Israel. There are two very definite types of covenants, pledges, or promises that demonstrate Israel's place in the tribulation. The divine covenants and the satanic covenant. Yes, I said satanic covenant and I will deal with that. Uh, in, I believe, our next broadcast. So, stay tuned. But today we're going to deal with the Abrahamic Covenant, the first of the divine covenants. Notice that this covenant has a personal nature. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 3 says, Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all 
families of the earth be blessed. The covenant is also national in nature. Genesis 12, 7a says, And the Lord appeared unto Abram, and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. Here God extends what was very personal in verses 2 and 3 to something national. The nation that came out of Abram, Abraham's loins would inherit the land that God has showed him. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, we will continue looking at the Abrahamic covenant. Today, in closing, let's consider what God wants you and I to do in light of his second coming in these last days. The Lord Jesus Christ said in Luke 19.13 to occupy till I come. Ladies and gentlemen, God wants us to be faithful witnesses for him in these last days. We should be engaged in spreading the gospel to those around us. In light of that, please listen to the following from William Fay, author of Share Jesus Without Fear. Bible passages to use when sharing Jesus. Uh, he points to Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, the gift rather of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. John 3.3 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 14:6 Jesus saith unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me Let's take a moment and pray and ask God to help us to be the shining lights and witnesses and to do his will in these last days. Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you for your holy word. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us that the signs are pointing to your soon coming. Thank you, Lord, for uh, Brother John MacArthur and how you have used him to make your holy word plain. Thank you for Brother Fay, who uh, shares with us that we do not have to fear in our soul winning efforts because all we have to do is deliver the message. Lord, help us to occupy until you come. Help us to be faithful and true until you come. Help us to be obedient to your holy word until you come. Lord, for Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive us of our sins, of not doing what we should be doing, of not being what we should be. Fill us with your Holy Spirit to do your will and your work. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you are listening to this broadcast and you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. God wants you to trust Jesus Christ to receive him as your Savior before he returns the second time, which could be today. The rapture part of the second coming of Christ could happen today. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 13 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, friend of mine, if you are willing to trust Christ as your Savior today, please pray with me the following prayer. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner, for Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. 
I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life forever. Amen. Dear friends, remember the words of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Keep looking up, for your redemption draw the nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator also, when he said, Even so, come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. Remember, you can stay up to date with prophecy news and events on our website at secondcomingherald.com. If you would like to know more about accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, what to do after salvation, or looking for a good church home, please visit gospelitesociety.com for more information. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on Live 365, bcnradio7.com, gospelightworldradio.com, Buzzsprout, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and can be downloaded from numerous outlets online. God bless, and until next time, keep looking up for your redemption draw if not. Now, here's a song that will encourage you as you await Christ's return. You got to get your